I seriously need to stop doing this to myself. My mind has two extremes. Either I say, wow, I will never be able to do this. I'm so incompetent. I have nothing to offer. Or it goes, of course, I can do this. This is so easy. It will be no problem. Look at that. This is how I got to make this purse to go with this dress and wearing now. It was a journey. <laughs> now, of course, we have to pair a very boring dress with something very extraordinary. For a simple purse, a giant hula hoop purse. This is so big that my upper camera cannot even catch it. All the things. I hope I'll be able to finish this this week still to wear with my beautiful Met Gala dress. <laughs> But the materials didn't ship yet. They didn't ship yet. But I still need a pattern for the first part of the purse. This paper is not big enough. Going with heavy duty. I'll try to make this as easy and understandable as possible. We have a purse that is sort of a half circle. Sort of. Can I find the middle of the circle? This is the half of my hula hoop. Or so I hope. I need a picture now because I don't know how the details go. Or the closure. Chanel hula hoops bag. Drop a line here in the middle of the middle so I have an idea. This is the middle of this quadrant. Curve, 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 curve. This line doesn't exist. And here we have the Coco Chanel closure or whatever. Perfect. <laughs> math, math, man. And now there's the one I have is too big. I have to print it again. I need to measure this part for the middle part of the purse. Gusset. I, I never know the name of that, but I'll call it gusset. For the purse's gusset. Purse's gusset. Up to the middle, of course. I want this to be the thickest part. I'm cutting this in the fold. One inch from each side. This is the front. This is the gusset. So the back is like this and another half circle there and a little strip here so it will close properly. So I need to add, I think three inches is enough here when I cut the back part because the back is half a circle, three inch strip and then this thingy here. Back to the drawing board. the front I don't want it I, it will be it would look awful but the fit is so snag that it could actually work just like this <laughs> so it would be a it's just it's a closure just for appearances anyway I think I'm gonna leave it like this fancy full of corners <laughs> Fit. Just discovered that the hula hoops I bought are not the same ones I got for London. They are square to begin with and they have no opening. The plastic has been welded, glued shut. <laughs> and of course I got three of them and it's been so long that I cannot exchange them. And no, I never learned how to hula hoop in my life. I'm a Brazilian, I should be able to twerk, right? But I'm not. Ow! <laughs> I'm pissed, I'm pissed, I'm pissed. But I'm still doing this.
all pieces are prepared, I need to cut the lining because I don't want to line. I want to make the lining attached. I'll finish the seams with, I don't know, maybe a piece of leather. I don't know yet. And these are also done. Like my nose, you have a little bit of blue showing up in one of them because it just got stuck to the paper all the time. I've sewn the edges so the patchwork doesn't fray and I want to now check which fabric I can use for the lining. I want the fabric for the lining. It's very thick linen because I don't have anything else but I don't know if I have enough for the complete. My room is out of control again because I'm working on a lot of projects simultaneously. Some of you already know what this is. I don't mind a little bit of patchworking but I would like to avoid it as much as possible. Cookie, cookie. Oh, this one will fit here perfectly. So this piece is for this. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. And this one will fit here together with the bottom part. Perfect. I have still a little bit to make a pocket in the inside, so that will be fun. I will start with cutting this one so I can make the pocket already. <laughs> Great! Things are coming together. Things are coming together. Cookie, cookie. One thing that I don't know what to do is how am I going to finish the edges of the flappy thing and the beginning of the thing. I don't want to use a strip of leather to finish that. I want to have a continuous leather. Um, so I think I need to make kind of a facing. I'm gonna make a pocket like this, kind of bigger, so I can put my wallet and my phone in here and just not clatter around the purse and the rest will be, I don't know, carry my own whole wardrobe because this thing is so huge. I'm not sure yet. I'm so not sure yet. <laughs> I need a rectangle. Cookie, cookie. This one needs a little bit water because it does want to stretch. Not stretch, smooth. <laughs> I'm so freaking fatty. Now we have it. Wow, super straight. Look at that straightness. Ugh. This is the prepared pocket. I made some gambiajas here in the corner so it doesn't break. Because this linen is a very fray fabric and we don't enjoy fray fabric. Cookie, cookie. Cookie, cookie. Oh, I think this is okay. Stay there. This looks so crooked. It is crooked. Why is it crooked? Not even centered. <laughs> Fine. It's okay. I don't care. Eh. Oh, look at this. So pretty. Now to mark some lines here. So, for example, my cell phone will stay here. And here, smaller pockets for pens or something like this. Not that I carry pens anymore. <laughs> but you never know. Maybe you one day you need to carry pens and then you don't have a pen pocket. Haha, <laughs> should end my logo here for sure. Such logo. Where is that? Where are my stamps? Cookie, cookie. <laughs> I have released the bacon stamps and I will add a stamp to this. <laughs> this looks so ridiculous, but yeah, I love it. <laughs> My my brand is not Coco Chanel, it's Cochon Chanel because I'm great with puns. I need all of the pieces that will have the facing to be prepared as if they were just light. Let me cut one facing strip. Wow, so straight. Such straight. <gasps> That's too short. Oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes it's so stupid. So stupid. Water erasable pencil. Five centimeters. Five. Five centimeters again here with the seam allowance. You can't forget the seam allowance. Otherwise, this will be a disaster. Disaster, disaster. I didn't leave a seam allowance here. So that means it will be shorter than I need it to be. Nope, this is way too short. I need to redo it. Ta da! So this is the part where I would generally beat the shit out of the scene so it's crazy. Fake leather doesn't go that way. You can beat it as much as you like and it will go back to its normal position because it's mainly plastic. So I need to find another way to make the seam look pretty. I don't even have contact cement anymore. And here I cannot fixate this yet because of the opening that I lost, by the way. I think it's in the fart sucker, but I don't remember where I put it. And I don't want to print a new one. <laughs> I don't want to print a new one. No. 
found the thing. I just don't remember, like this is the line. I don't know if it's completely on top of the flap or if it's underneath the flap or the middle of the flap. I would say this is on the bottom part and this will come and then close with the clasp here. But I could be wrong because I didn't check that really before making this thing. So this is my interpretation of the clasp. Let's see how that goes. And first this needs to be black, black. Juju. Are you wearing pants? Are you wearing pants? What did you do? These are the things that will hold the bag in place and I painted them with the same color. So they're kind of invisible. <laughs> yes, I finished patching the front part. Just sewn this right sides facing and over stitched it inside. I ended up getting contact cement and magnetic clasps for bags and it's getting here tomorrow. So I can finally finish all the hardware make it sit flat as I want it because the other part is still kind of puffy and I hate it. Now I need to cut this in rectangles that will be big enough fit through the hula hoop and hold the bag in place. So I need six pieces, three for each side and I just need to paint them black on the other side as well so they don't show as much as fake leather. Super fancy. Fuss is dead. Fuss is dead. Where's puppy? <laughs> I just realized I can't finish because there are missing pieces. Yay, they should arrive today, but yeah, I'm late again. <laughs> positioning of the class is wrong in both of my thinking because there is this piece there <laughs> and I totally forgot so I have to open up and make a new one and I see that the Chanel logo is really small in comparison to the bag so this one's quite huge but I'm not printing another one I'm making a plate put this one on top Jesus Christ because I pay attention to always what I'm pay doing. attention to what I'm doing <laughs> I need something round to mark the edges. I think this one's fine. Yeah. So. I'll try to overstitch at least one side of this. Ugh, it worked all around. It's kind of pointy, but it's okay. And I think I'm gonna install the whole thing on this part. Oh, it doesn't fit anymore. <laughs> oh my god, it doesn't fit anymore. Come on. <sighs> That's the maximum it will go inside. There's a huge gap here, but I don't think you can really see it. But yeah, I'm going to install this to this part completely and use then one of those magnetic clasps for, for the closure. I'm so tempted just to flap this and sew here, but I know my mind will not let me do that. I'm already taking a lot of artistic liberties with this one and I don't want more. Oh, I don't want to destroy it, but the stitches are so close to together it's insane because the foot dances when i'm sewing this one so it's not machine setup but ow oh, let me try this one don't use so much force because i'm cutting the leather with the thing <laughs> wanna turn it later loops are installed the lining is not closed yet because i need the other pieces to arrive so i can finish it Urgh. But I think I can remove the water spaghetti pencil while I wait for Amazon to arrive. The clasps finally arrived. Oh my god. It took so long that I painted my nails. After years. Well, at least a year that I don't paint my nails, I think. But here we have it. I need two big ones. Let's do this one first. There is a skinny piece and a bigger piece. I will use bigger piece for this clasp. So let me mark it so we can cut it. This will hopefully hide that. And I can now be centered. One will come here. I'm using these tiny screws to hopefully hold it in place. I want to glue this in place first, just temporarily, so it doesn't move around while I am screwing this in place. Tiny bit of sticky tape. Where is my porous? I lost all the bits. <sighs> this one. I just hope it stays centered. It doesn't help that the thing that I sewed here is not centered. <laughs> it's fine. It is attached. It is attached. 
Oh yes, and I'm adding another one just here, just to be safe, because I don't trust only one clasp, pretty clasp, clasp. And since I have so many, I don't really mind using them. Look at this mess! And I don't need this anymore. What I need is now, it's so bulky. <laughs> And it's so ugly from the inside, it's insane. Whoops. But hey, it works, so I'm not going to discuss that. <laughs> Just accept and move on. And by the way, I bought contact cement to deal with this, but it didn't arrive. And today I got a message from Amazon saying there was a problem with your order. It's been sent back to the peoples. So to the peoples it will go. I tried to make this as matchy as possible. Now I see it didn't really work out. Let's pretend it's matching, okay? Where is the thing that I need to use now? These things are so easy to install. I love it too. Ha! Look at that! <laughs> Hardware installed now to add the bottom part on the sewing machine. I can put some pins here to make sure it stays in place. I'm not poking through the leather, I am just poking through the foam. Here we go. I'll pin. Pray for my soul. I'll be ranking. I was wondering why there is flour on my machine. Because seriously, nothing get past me. It could be flour, but... <gasps> my ceiling is falling off! Oh my god. Water damage? I think it's water damage. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. Mondays are cursed. Ears! Looking good! I don't think I'll be able to finish the inside because the, the contact cement didn't arrive. I cannot finish with the bias tape, with the leather tape here, because it won't go through the machine. It's just too thick already. I even had to sew this end here by hand because um, the machine just said, no bitch, not, not with me, not today. But it's looking interesting. Now to cut this open and insert it on the loops to see if it worked. I have so many saws and everything, but I just don't feel like taking out any of them out. I now cut this with a Dremel. Not only is it squared, but it's solid plastic. Never seen such a hula hoop before. I don't like it. And the painting work is atrocious because there is sushi hair everywhere. Some bits are already coming off. <laughs> Come on, don't be a poop. The other one went in. Don't. 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 Do not. Please. Come on. Don't be weird. You can do this. I believe in you. Snack. Snack. But it's there. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> yeah. It's like the perfect bag shit. Other side. First one. Oh my god. I think this is going to work. Oh no. <laughs> One side escape. Damn it. Come on. Just need to punch this into submission. Then I can show you the bag. <laughs> I seriously spent two hours yesterday putting screws on the frame so the purse would stay in place. It wasn't fun. It was not easy. I hated it all the way. So getting this one for a ride later today. <laughs> <laughs> to wear this like this i guess you could wear it like this too but it's just so uncomfortable and i already have neck problems <laughs> so i have to be careful what i do but hey from afar it looks like the real deal right like i'm not even angry at this i think if i were to go to the city center it would pass as a real one only if you get too close that you'll see that the chanel logo is extremely wonky there is a lot of space i could put both my cats in here and seriously all my whole wardrobe never done such a big bag before and I cannot imagine what I would take with me that would not destroy my freaking neck because I'm a backpack person Ugh. so we have all our little bacon here from the front it's looking kind of wonky and this is a call please mug me please mug me but I, I like it it's so weird and so preposterous that kind of makes sense you know this is something if I were to buy something expensive it, again it would have to be so 
out of the normal that has to justify it so expensive and so weird, this would be a total win for me. Seriously, I love it. I wasn't able to finish the insides, unfortunately, because the contact cement didn't arrive, so the edges are still raw, but it's fine. It's the inside of the bag anyways. No one will look in here except for me. Ooh, what do you think? Where should I wear this? Of course, the dress and the purse go together. I just need more poof. I'm wearing two petticoats underneath, but they're not puffy. As I said, I spent yesterday Day, three hours adding screws to the frame so it would stay in place because it was getting all weird only the front is screwed in the back is still free to flow as it wishes I, I'm not I'm not going that again I think this works pretty well no one sees the back of the bag anyways and even though it took me ages to do it it worked pretty well I should do it to the back too I feel sad that I just worked on the front but this is again my head working against me I will do the back. Oh man. Thank you so much for watching my crazy hair. I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe. I will see you soon. Ta-ta! <laughs>